Well, hello and welcome to FPL Top Dogs and the latest episode here on the 3rd of March. Happy March, everybody. Um, sorry for the flicker in there. Um, but uh, just going to give an update of where we are in the Christy Nicholson uh, Pub League and uh, a quick synopsis of where we are from this game week 26 to 29. That's as far as I'm going to focus from now on. Um, just uh, share this. And we'll get going. There's a, a lot to a lot to talk about today. Uh, just need to put into context uh where we are. Uh but straight we'll get straight into all this now. Uh no messing. Uh T News for tomorrow. It's a handy website from, from Scout. No surprises. Um everyone who we will be looking for. We'll be starting tomorrow. There's uh Asus could be back. Uh, I mean, like there's a 25% chance it says here uh, Eddie and Ketia has got a knock, but they reckon Trossard will get the vote there. And I own uh, Nketia, so I'm worried. So that's something to think about for tomorrow. Villa, no problems with, with Villa. Watkins, and anything with Villa, we'll talk later, is gold. Uh, what I mean by that is I have been having a good look at what sort of teams you need to be really keeping and not getting rid of just because we have a mini Double a mini double game week um, involving Brighton and Palace, Southampton and Brentford. Um, just because you know we can't be keep uh, taking our eye off the the ball here. That's there's a uh, there's a lot more um, blanks and minis uh, and quite big double game weeks to come, especially in game week twenty nine. So I'm not getting since I have no wild card and no free hits. I'm, if you're in the same situation as I am, um, or hopefully not overall rank, but with no wild card or free hit. Um, you don't want to be getting rid and then getting back and taking hits. So I'm very aware I don't want to be taking any unnecessary hits. Um, um, I do have Jamie Ward Prow, so it's it's handy, but I don't have any Brighton Pallers or Brentford. So Brentford and Brighton players are all the rage. Um, what I've what I've been having a look for in the future is what sort of teams out there at the minute, uh, up to game week twenty nine. What sort of teams? Our goal to basically, and I have determined Newcastle, Chelsea, Leicester, Leeds, Villa, Forest, Bournemouth, and Brentford. Um, mainly because they all play in game week 28. Uh, they all have a double as well in game week 29. And looking at Brighton Palace, Saints, and Brentford, Brentford is the only one that has a double in this game week coming up uh, in game week 27. Okay, so game week twenty six is just a normal, a normal game week. We can chill out. You can roll a transfer, possibly. That's um this one coming up tomorrow, which uh, incidentally, be just be careful. It's eleven o'clock deadline, folks. Twelve thirty start, Man City Newcastle. So, yeah, you can um look Liverpool and um. Oh, that that's the, let's just go. with uh, Liverpool uh, entertain Man United. So a lot. Well, I I I'm kind of over played with Liverpool and United, so I have lots of decisions there. Shaw's got a little knock, but expecting to start. I don't expect to catch you to start. And Bueno's got a hammy, so that's just... Uh, I could limp through this game week anyway, but it's really uh, all about how you navigate the next three or four weeks or game weeks coming up. It's it's tricky. If you go down one avenue, it's going to open up doors to um, a motorway to destruction or... Um, paradise basically or you just get through as respectably so um it's basically a massive game of uh knots and crosses here um coming up but yeah so i think brentford obviously getting them in now everyone wants to get tony in um he's admitted to these charges these gambling charges um he could have anything between three months and six months uh suspended he could miss the rest of the season we don't know when this thing is starting. I think it'd be long drawn, so I don't think there'd be any effect on Tony. So he would be uh, an interesting dude to uh, you know to get in. But everyone's going to have him in, I pre I presume. And again, lots of Brighton players um going up in ranks as we'll see in the, later on. So yeah, Newcastle. I'm not getting rid of any Newcastle. Basically, they have um a double in game week 29. They've got West Ham away. Uh, that's their double, and they've, they're also playing in game week uh, 28. Uh, so, but they don't obviously don't have that double in game week 27. So, they're they a pretty good team to hold. So, I'm not getting rid of 
Trippier or any Newcastle. I wouldn't if you can kind of hold them, hold them. Chelsea, of course, a very differential, very little of the top 10K have any Chelsea whatsoever. Let's see, Mason Mount. Uh, I'm not thinking of getting him in. I'm thinking about Reese James more like, but I have Zhao. I'm thinking about capping him against Leeds. You know, if Le Leeds have um, uh, a really good run coming up. Uh, or not, yeah, not so much Leeds. Okay, they've got some doubles coming up. But uh, Chelsea, let's uh, have a quick look at the fixtures here. You know, it's not a bad run there. Leicester away, they're, they're shipping goals. Everton at home, you know, Villa at home. Loads of home games up to Wolves and Brighton. So if I have any chance to get back into some sort of um, respectability this season from 3.9 million in the world, uh, respectability would be inside the top million, but that's not even a, you know, gets me excited at all. The top 300k is my minimum really where I should be, but this season has just been, you know, less said. So, yeah, so Newcastle, Chelsea, Leicester, I have two Leicester, they're, I'm keeping them on. I'm going to roll the gate because um, United, okay, they blank in game week 28 along with Liverpool, Brighton, Man City, uh, Fulham and West Ham. So these six teams, they blank in game week 28. So, but you want them back all again then for game week 29 because Man United, Liverpool, Brighton and West Ham all double. So what I've determined um, over my hour, I was looking at the, the fixtures and the whole lot over the last few weeks is that Fulham and City, Man City, they're blanking in game week 28 and they don't have a double in 29. Um, and they don't have, obviously don't have a double in 27. So can you go without these guys? Um, yeah, I am mooting the thought of uh, getting rid of Haaland and freeing up some money because I don't think Haaland is going to get me to the, the promised land at all this season. It's a make or break. And don't, the hope is when they got a blank there, probably keep him for Newcastle. We'll see how it goes. And Mares, I'm worried about these two if you've got City assets. And that's where a free hit can come in. I, um, I think a free hit in game week 28, a lot of people, because they'll want to keep their United, Liverpool, City, and Brighton players that they've just got in for this game week for the 27 uh, coming. Uh, so that w with minimum of uh, minimum of us. So yeah, the free hit in 28 would be absolutely amazing. But uh, it is how it is. If you haven't got one, just have to navigate and be more um, honest from day to day and transfer to transfer. So yeah, that's the problem with City and Fulham assets. They don't have a double in game week 29 where nearly every other team has. You know, you got Bournemouth, Brighton, Leeds versus Forest, Leicester versus Villa, Chelsea versus Liverpool, Man United versus Brentford, West Ham versus Newcastle. So there's a lot of tasty fixtures in that 29. You can get some real differentials. I'm thinking about a triple captain somewhere there myself. We'll see, but have to be careful when you play it with European games. Um, and rests from players um not getting the minutes in so yeah that's that's the city thing look look see assets are fine it's just um it's just uh, there's a lot of more tasty fixtures with uh, teams of double game weeks coming so yeah so newcastle chelsea leicester leeds villa forest bournemouth and brentford they're the golden teams that i like the fact that they're playing in game week 28 29 if you've any of them players i wouldn't be subbing them out yet so i would be keeping ward castania or coffee war prowse for the, the the week after this um but we'll see I, th I think tony is now going to be rising in price soon i've had a look and there's no right no price rises to them um to him yet so um newcastle have a very good defense so can they keep city honest somehow at the etihad you know, like two or one or two. Um, we'll see how that hangover is after the Carabao Cup final. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically where we are. So just to recap, Man City and Fulham, they they're not the best to have. I'm not saying you know you know you can get a Hattie, Mitrovic or Haaland, yeah, and then you're you're done. But if you're looking at the fixtures. Uh, game week 28 coming up, it's, I would be looking to keep uh, Salah, Rashford, De Gea, 
and I'll see who else. Um, I'll see how Trent gets on. Uh, worried about clean sheets against United. That's going to be tough. Um, but yeah, uh, Arsenal worry me a lot as well. I really want to have um, uh, only two Arsenal, so I could get in Saka and um, Martinelli, of course. So I've got a lot to decide and think about, and I'll send the team later. But um, don't think I should really worry about Brentford and Southampton doubles this game week when you could just just uh, roll one and uh, roll us until game week 27 and get what you need in then. Uh, but uh, let's see now. Um, what else have we got? So that's just a, a rough, um, a rough. So in game week 27, Brighton, they, they have leads away um, and they play Palace in the double in game week 27. So you know, it's not 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 the not the worst fixture. So I can see why Brighton assets are pretty um popular at the minute. And Palace, they have that double in twenty seven. They're playing Brighton, of course, and then their their double is City at home. So that's interesting. And Southampton have many night away after they play Brentford, and Brentford after they play Southampton have Everton away. So we'll look after that till next week. So I would just see how the the land lies over the next few game weeks and get something straight in my head about this. So pretty happy um, going forward. Uh, let's have a look at the Christy Nicholson and uh, Twitter chips. Ely there, just a phenomenal 101, well, 97 and net 97 score. Um, Alexander getting a good score, clean sheet. Uh, Darwin in there, I think he had a goal disallowed. Unlucky, very unlucky. Salah scoring there and he's captain. But the, the big thing was to have Martinelli. Martinelli over the, those, that double game, it just destroyed everything. Uh, has answered his critics in the plum and the Trossard transfer has just uh, it's just boosted him to, you know, show like uh, his potential from two or three years ago prior to his injuries and the pace. And I remember Arsenal fans just raving about this 17 year old. Um, I remember it and it's been a long time coming. And Martinelli, if they win the title this season, they're going to, you know, the, we'll have to start thinking about these guys in a different context um, nothing like the Arsenal team of the early 2000s and uh, that that Burkamp and Longberg team which is and Vieira was just unbelievable and Henri later um, so yeah the great team just this is a dream dream game week for um, face man it's just like only a point from as for um, as a Valaga Bueno only three, but there's just the gut of Arsenal points there, and he only has two of them. Wow, so he's got the right two. Um, so yeah, that's uh, great stuff. So looking at Shane, Shane has used his wild card. He's got a free hit and a bench boost and a wild card left. So he's got three chips. He's in a phenomenal situation. Six points ahead on Kieran Kiley. Um, Kieran's got one chip left, just the wild card. Um, he's used his free hit in game week 12, bench boost in 19, and triple captain in game week 23. So he's up there. He's really loud and proud. He's killed it over the last while. Um, but it's going to be tricky now for Kieran with just that wild card. Really, the Shane is in pole position. Um, came second two years ago, had a year off. I'm having his year off that he took off last year. I'm having it this year. Um, so there, you, so there you go, Kieran. Very, very credible. Eighty now. The, the I think the score, if you weren't going backwards, uh, was seventy eight. It was like the average. Anything under seventy eight, you, you were losing overall rank. I only got seventy three, so I lost hundred thousand somewhere places so that's still above the average and made slight gains Gakpo and Robertson so um, Liverpool yeah they have the double in game week 29 uh, you get Chelsea and Liverpool that that's their double in game week 29 they're away to Liverpool but they, they blank so it's got, he's going to have a little bit of trouble probably have to maybe wildcard and hope for the best and limp to the rest of the season um, 
but then you have to get off all his United and Liverpool in game week 28 since United, City, Liverpool, Brighton, Fulham and West Ham blank. So there's a lot there um, to look at there. Is what well, you've got just two Liverpool, one United. It might be too bad. A City blank, yeah. Um, Spurs, well, they only, they, they play in game week 28, but they don't have a double and that's not great. Although they're playing Forest and Wolves coming up, there might be goals there. And they're having an easier run Spurs um, later. So, yeah, there's something to think about there. Um, who's next? Uh, James E. Lyons, good, good call getting Robertson. Mitoma to McNeil, that was definitely watching some punditry on YouTube there. Um, good call with uh, TA. Interesting. He's got the, he got the Saka. Lots of these teams don't have Martinelli. That's where Shane really killed it. Uh, James E. Lyons, he's got two chips left. He's got a bench boost and a triple captain. So he's not. He's in the same situation as I am. Abused both our wild cards. Um, done the free hitting game week eight. James E. The wild card was done in twenty two. Um, I I I I presume that if you don't use the wild card after the World Cup, you lose it. Or can you roll that onto a double wild card? I just I don't think so. I think it was only available for a game week or two. But uh, James E's got two chips, so that's where he is. Not a bad situation and well within a shelf and 19 down on Faceman. Faceman's very dangerous to give this guy a lead of any sort. He's a great front runner, as we saw a couple of years ago. John C. Halpin took a bit of a blow um, uh, last game week, but his back, well, the minus eight tempers things a bit. Um, with a 75 so it's kind of mm, just keeping ground um, back a bit but 70s and 80s is where you want to be that uh, last game week I think 90s 100 is just phenomenal and a, f a few of them getting 50s and f uh, 60s I saw a few 45s that 42 there for disaster stuff so that's what you want to be doing is, is not throwing it away in the first day of a golf tournament um you know you want to keep in it so yeah john c helping he's got he's got no chips left he's used his free hit in game with four bench boost 24 triple captain game with 20 and the wild card in 22 so yeah triple captain in 20 so zero he's got nothing there so it's going to be absolutely <sighs> see it's hit it's hit times and I, I'm just going to make a decision. I don't want to do hits myself. I'm going to avoid them like the plague. Um, yeah, um, our double winner, uh, two in a row now, double champion, minus eight, that's 66. Um, won't be too happy the last few game weeks. Not been on it so much. Um, Saka, great call there, but nothing else kind of worked out for Joey. Uh, 66 there, clickety-click. He's got three chips left, though. Uh, a lot like Faceman. Um, actually, the same as Faceman. He's got his uh, free hit, bench boost, and wild card. So lots of outs there. Um, I'm sure free hit in game week 28, he's looking at that. But uh, he is his own man. So lots to, I think, uh, uh, 29 down in Faceman. It is redeemable. Um, and the experience that uh, Joey has top 79 in the world um, a few years ago. Uh, Pat Caulfield, look at him. He's got three chips left, a bench boost, a triple captain, and a wild card. So very good situation, uh, keeping it right up to tabs with uh, the commando. Well done, Pat. And um, Salah, yeah, it's a good call. Some good calls there. But uh, Haaland, not captain. It just edged out. It just edged out. Salah was the right call. But um, Saka and... Martinelli, wow. Um, we want these guys back. Well, certainly I do. Zinchenko's great move by Stephen Strat Nolan. Stratford's done well. He's gone in with the, the Liverpool uh, Salah. That was a no brainer. Uh, also, with KDB um, dropping from 12.3 million to 12.2, and he's 30% owned. So people have gone right off uh, Kevin De Bruyne. And I, 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 don't, I don't blame people. It's just too much money. He's just done nothing this year, really. Um, it's been a terrible year for uh, KDB and the World Cup but Stevie Strett 
Um, he's got three chips left. He's, there's some really, everyone is in such a great situation here. He's got a free hit, a bench boost, and a wild card. So he's played his trip cap in 22. Uh, great situation. Um, and he's not far. Th these guys, only about 30 points down in face, man. That's, that's nothing. And there's a lot to play for still. Um, uh, all these have yet to, to win to win the Christy Nick. Um, Stevie finished in second last year. It was a second or third, third, sorry. I finished second. Uh, Stevie Streff finished third, and uh, Joey won it. So, Joey won it last year. Uh, retained the, the again the title um, to emulate John Toffee Kelly. Um, and that feat 15 and 16. So, yeah, it's not a bad situation for Streff. He's got a he's got a free hit there so he's got a wild card he's he's in a good situation and loads of points to, to come there for a stretch um morgan Lyons, very very good run the last few game weeks it's kind of not a punch in the in the stomach there it's but this kind of game week is winded uh morgan there just 61 is an ouch. It's about 30 on everyone else has gained on Morgan. And what happened? Well, his sack is right, but that's frightening. There's only 35 from the rest of the team. De Bruyne, you know, there's a lot there to be thinking now. Darwin's not going to save anyone's season. Uh, he, he is a differential, I suppose. Try, you know, if you're in the top, you take a chance to try and steal a few points in there on, on who, if you're in the top 100k or in your minis. But he is he's, he's still a risk and he's not the finished article. Uh, at all, <coughs> neither is Gakpo. But um, if you need to take risks and you're further down the league, you've got to take them. So Morgan, he's got three chips left. Good situation, free hit, triple captain, and wild card. The trip, he doesn't have. To, yeah, he has the triple captain. So free hit, triple captain, and wild card. Three chips. He plays his bench boost in twenty two. Um. And there you go, Tarkovsky. He's got his Everton in Liverpool. Killman Wolves. Fair good. Killman will be good. Um, down the line, they are playing in game week twenty eight, and but they don't have, don't have a double in twenty nine. Um. Anyway, it's something to look out for. I've not gone on Wolves so far. Sean Shaky her, he's three chips again. Free hit, bench boost, and wildcard. And all these guys just have been so patient all season. Um so yeah, there you go. Um sent six won't be happy with the sixty-eight there. Uh Adam Hickey, he's got he's got two chips left, a bench boost and um and a wild card. Uh Daryl Daryl Hunt here, he's got three chips left. There's, mostly everyone's got a free hit, a bench boost, and a wild card. Actually going all the way down all the way down here. Um we can go all the way down to Probably Mark Cattle Carney, Owen Roll. Owen Roll's got two chips left, possibly bench boost and a triple captain. Um, Cahill's got three chips left, very very good, and is um, yeah, he's got the free the free hit, the bench boost, and the wild card left. Used to triple captain in twenty two. Uh, and Owen's got two left, as I said. Um, and Marky Phillips, absolutely terrible season. He, he'll admit to himself it's not worth it's a bit like myself. I wish I was 17 and said terrible. It's um, not, not, not too bad. He's gained quite a bit of momentum this week. He's just got his free hit left, so that's handy for 28. And he can plot and plan uh, around all this then. Um, so yeah, uh, just a free hit left there for Marky 1544. Well. 60, about 15, or it's uh, 56, 70, 80, 83. It's not within the realms of possibility, but have to really mix uh, different, being differential and being um, covering uh, effective ownership of everybody else. It's a very, very tricky combination. So, yeah, that's just a, a rough idea, you know, uh, of how everyone is getting on here. Jeremy Phillips, very good, 86. Sean Duffy, 96. All some great scores for uh, Fergie Walsh. Have I got Fergal down here? Um, Jeremy Fergal. No, I didn't check on Fergal, but it's a very good score and sack it again. So, yeah, that's about that's all, all about. Um, yeah, what am I going to do? I'm just going to I'm with it and uh, hope marriage for you, folks. Uh, thanks for listening. Give us a like and subscribe.
and um, take care and good luck with your teams tomorrow. Uh, Guru out.